Choice of Weapons is a semi-autobiographical novel by Gordon Parks, published in 1966. Parks was a notable photographer, filmmaker, and writer, who was the first African American to work as a staff photographer for Life magazine. This novel tells the story of Park's early life and how he came to be a photographer. The novel is divided into three parts, with each part detailing Park's life during a specific period. The first part, titled Flavio, is about his experience photographing a young Brazilian boy, Flavio da Silva, who lived in one of Rio de Janeiro's favelas slums. Through this experience, Parks gains a better understanding of the inequalities and social injustices that exist in Brazilian society, particularly for poor people. The second part, The Learning Tree, is a coming-of-age story set in Kansas during the 1920s. Parks' fictional counterpart, Newt Winger, deals with racism, poverty, and family drama while trying to figure out his place in the world. The final part, Weapons, describes Park's time working for the Farm Security Administration and how he became a photographer for Life magazine. Throughout the novel, Parks addresses themes such as poverty, racism, and inequality. He also explores the power of photography and the role it can play in shaping public opinion. Parks believes that photography can be used as a tool for social change, and his own experiences documenting the lives of people in poverty and oppressed communities inspired him to use his art for this purpose. One of the strengths of the novel is its vivid portrayal of the different places where Parks lived and worked. Parks' descriptions of Rio de Janeiro's favelas, Kansas' small towns, and Washington, D.C.'s government buildings, are all rich in detail and help the reader to visualize these places. Parks also does an excellent job of capturing the nuances of human relationships. The complex dynamics between family members and friends, as well as the power dynamics between people from different social classes, are all explored in depth. Another strength of the novel is its ability to highlight the importance of perseverance and determination in the face of adversity. Parks faced numerous obstacles throughout his life, including poverty, racism, and a lack of education, but he never gave up on his dream of becoming a photographer. He worked hard to teach himself the skills he needed and took advantage of every opportunity that came his way. This determination and resilience are inspiring and serve as an example for readers who may be facing their own challenges. One weakness of the novel is that it can be a bit disjointed at times. Because the novel is divided into three parts, it can feel like three separate stories rather than a cohesive narrative. While each part is interesting in its own right, the transitions between them can feel abrupt and disjointed. Overall, Choice of Weapons is an engaging and thought-provoking novel that provides insights into the life of one of America's most important artists. Park's ability to capture the complexities of the human experience, as well as his unwavering commitment to social justice, make this a compelling read for anyone interested in photography, social activism, or African-American history.